Hey guys, what's up? Pokegems back with another easy, easy geometric optical illusion step-by-step -step drawing of this staircase to nowhere. Guys, but before we get started, hit that subscribe button. Guys, turn on your notifications. That way you won't miss out on any future videos. Alright, let's go ahead and get started here, guys. Alright, if you notice, uh, as you know from my previous drawings, I always draw everything with pencil, and you're gonna say, well, hey, Pokegems, why aren't you drawing that with a ruler? Guys, I am purposely not doing this with a ruler, because this is meant to look like an old, rickety, wooden staircase. Now, how many old wooden staircases have you seen that look absolutely perfect, the angles are perfect, so you wanna keep this obviously fairly straight, but don't worry if it is like looking absolutely perfect. I think especially in this project, the way that we color it, uh, the way that we draw it out, we don't want it to look perfect. It's almost like an opposite, like the less perfect it looks, I think the more realistic the 3D optical illusion will turn out. But basically, as you see, I'm pretty much creating 3D stairs kind of on an angle. The first three were angled up and to the right, and then from the middle of the page, they're going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. And then later, when we finish up the optical illusion, you guys are going to see exactly why I drew them in this way. Now, once I'm done doing them with pencil and I'm happy, like I always do, I do go over everything with a nice, dark, permanent marker. Um, that way, uh, it could look really, really nice. So do it first with pencil and then go over everything with a dark marker. As you get higher and higher, you see the detail isn't that important because eventually it'll just look like these staircases pretty much go into nothing. Once you're done with that, then you're going to take the edge of the bottom three stairs, color those in completely with black, and then all of the left-hand side edges on the upper stairs, you're going to color those black too. Now, in order to give this the natural wood look, I'm going to use colored pencil here. Uh, I'm using kind of like a mustard yellow color. As you see, I'm not coloring it perfectly, guys. I think the less perfect this is, the more realistic that it will look. Like I said before, it's supposed to look like an old wooden staircase. So I'm going to use this mustard color. And then maybe on these lower portions of some of these, I'll use like a dark gray or a black colored pencil just to give it a little bit of a, of a shadow, kind of like an old wood effect. Uh, and then maybe kind of like a grayish silver pencil on some of these upper ones, just to kind of, like I said, make it look like an old wooden staircase. All right, guys, once we're done with that, now we're gonna create some shadows underneath the stairs. I mean, obviously every single staircase has some shadows and I think this is really gonna, what's gonna make the paper, I mean, make the stairs pop off the paper. So on the lower ones, you're gonna basically create rectangles, kind of the same shape as the stairs themselves, and you're gonna use a charcoal pencil. If you don't have a charcoal pencil, feel free to use a dark colored colored pencil or even a regular pencil. Again, guys, these are shadows. They do not need to look perfect. If you use charcoal, if you use pencil, when you're done, go ahead and smudge them a little bit just to make it look like a nice gray shadow. Erase any of the edges. That's the nice thing, guys, about the charcoal pencils. You can easily erase it. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you get a chance, check out some of my other illusion drawings. Now we're gonna fold the paper in half. You're gonna place it against the wall, move the camera away, and look how cool that looks. That literally looks like the paper. I mean, the stairs are just completely coming off of the paper and really going to nowhere. Guys, if you like this one, if you wanna see other awesome 3D geometric drawings, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. I post there every day. Also, check out the new merch we have, new information on my website, pokegems.com. And guys, if you haven't done so, please smash that subscribe and like button, and I will see you on the next one.